times Phil McNulty battled throat cancer and three times he won. But in the process, he lost his voice. They, they were doing very massive radiation back then and uh, it was so massive that I, uh, I really couldn't swallow for like three years. His story is painfully familiar. Speech therapist Stacy Brill works with people like Phil, helping them eat, drink, and speak. The sooner they start, the better their chances. We've had many patients um, referred to us 10 years post chemo and radiation. Many of them still have feeding tube in. So imagine living your life with a feeding tube for all of those years when potentially you may not have had to. The road to swallow therapy wasn't well paved. Many patients never heard of it, something Stacy hopes to change. I'm listening to the patients and family members as to what was missing and feeling out uh, some input from some physicians, I was able to put together a uh, head and neck cancer pathway. Here's how the pathway works. Once someone gets a diagnosis, they can work with the Lee Memorial Health System Cancer Navigator. They will guide them to specialists and help them set appointments, one of which will be with a speech therapist. As soon as we are able to identify that we're having difficulty swallowing, we go ahead and start them in swallowing therapy so that we can have the goal of maintaining oral intake throughout the course of their chemo and radiation. Some patients will have temporary swallowing issues, others permanent. Therapy can strengthen or retrain the throat muscles. Using exercises and electrical stimulation, it made a world of difference to Phil. The more you know about your problem and how you can help yourself, that's very important to, to recover or just to start functioning again. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.